Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Thursday here, 14 November. Been a pretty slow week so far, I have to say. Euro's been basically 95 20, 25 points on the week. Not exactly ideal. Uh, we were talking about this last night amongst some. Uh, some of the portfolio managers in town that uh, focus really needs to have to be shifted away from sort of G3 dollar yen euro and its derivatives and towards some of the EM stuff which is moving uh, a little bit more and we all agreed that this will get fun again only when euro uh, snaps out of this uh, malaise this sleepy time uh, and what's causing this sleepy time there were a lot of there was a lot of conjecture a lot of it a lot of guys were saying just the amount of options that are being put on in the euro market is just crippling the vol so there's just too much delta out there uh, anyway be that what it's be that what it is what it may um, just wanted to share that with you guys as we look at some trade opportunities today this is the S&P chart my my just sideways up here doing nothing uh, we had a little chance uh, yesterday down at 75 to make some inroads on the downside no go on that so we're in this sideways pattern if you want to get short again try for the reach highs 3005, 30, uh, 3105, 3108 today on a day trade. Uh, we do not recommend selling low ones in uh, S&Ps just because of this powerful uptrend. Typically selling low ones is, is not a winner on the day and you certainly can't be core short uh, until price confirms some kind of turn. See our uh, sleepy friend Euro a lot of people will be watching this 91 point um, again why even bother trading euro right now but uh, this was the low back here on October 15th uh, and this created a pretty big bounce we've now printed a couple lows at 95 we are looking for some sort of turn here um, but again it's almost no point in trading it. Uh, I guess if you want to get long now, 20 is your point, uh, 110, 20, to maybe try some longs. But we're watching this 91. If we get a print down here, uh, then we will be a print and a bounce, then we'll be active above 20. But otherwise, we're just sitting and watching. Uh, dollar yen, also pretty quiet slipped down to 62 we talked about getting short yesterday through 90 um, core short seems to be the way but it's really going nowhere fast right we're at 72 here got some fresh air on the downside but we do keep getting these bounces you see these these wicks here you had a wick on the seventh one two three wicks there on the 240 bars hourly bars as well this looks like a turn bar uh, I don't know. This doesn't look bad, actually, um, if it coincides with news for possible downside, perhaps selling again through the lows, similar to the strategy yesterday. Um, we may participate in this down through 60. Again, we'll have to see what's going on. We don't have a ton of news. We're not expecting much volatility in Europe. We do have GDP from from Germany and inflation data from France and, and Spain but let's face it Europe's sucking the duck these days nothing is going on so we're not going to get all fired up for some sort of crazy European trade um, we're more likely just to do some reading and some resting getting ready for the New York session chart wise uh, sterling yen is kind of an interesting chart I don't know what's going to drive sterling yen. There is GD, uh, there is retail sales out of the UK today. Down through 40, out of quite a few lows here. You have a low here, 
46, low here at 49, low here 41, low here 36.6, low yesterday at 43. Um, tough to trade sterling these days, it's going nowhere fast, but this sort of sideways movement here, this has to be reconciled either top side or downside. And you could argue that perhaps a short through 36 and then add through 138.90, just purely technically. I have no idea what would drive this. Obviously, a bad retail sales is sort of a knee-jerk indicator. Usually, doesn't. it's not a lasting indicator. Could do it. But just as a chart, I wanted to bring that up. Um, and the other chart also that's kind of weird or interesting is this uh, euro sterling why we keep hitting these uh, lows at 58 here I don't know one two three four four lows now at 58 we have these lows over here um, they're 76 this low here was 57 someone has an order down there at 58 uh, so that's kind of just an interesting chart. We're staying away from the sterling here at Privateer right now just because you know, Brexit and bullshit and kind of not playing around uh, with the sterling. We're not super comfortable uh, buying pounds or selling pounds at, at these levels. Uh, but again, just as a chart, just want to point that out to everybody. Lots of lows there at 58. Aussie got smoked last night on some bad employment data. Um, we've been kind of talking about short Aussie, but we haven't really done anything about it since our little battle up there at 69 the figure. Now we're 100 points lower. I haven't really profited from this, which is just annoying. Um, but it's been a grind, right? One, two, three, four, five down days now, 100 points, kind of averaging 20 points a day. It's like, oh God, it's like pulling teeth, right? Um, but anyway, Aussie had some bad data. You don't want to chase this down here uh, based on just the volatility. We don't expect this to fall out of bed, but we're getting continually bad news um, from Oz. And in general, the global macro backdrop is, is, is pretty negative. I mean... Uh, Base metals are still crushed. Copper is still on its knees. You know, the global macro indicators other than uh, the S&P uh, looks pretty, pretty weak. And this is now being, I think, reflected a little bit in the Aussie. Um, and we also think will be reflected in the Kiwi. Rate surprises aside, uh, we do expect Kiwi to go left. Finally, um, let's look at Boone's bit of a squeeze going on here. Um, we got paid 170.28 yesterday on the sort of tradable short part of this position. Uh, you know, we will look, we'll be looking to take those back at a small profit just to add to the average short level for Boone's. Um, got to be careful here there's there should be a few stops here above 171 but we are still in this uh, negative mood for boons uh, so we're playing this from the short side even though we had a pretty good day yesterday and we've made a little bit of a new high today we are still working this from the short side not too much else out there um, we talked about sterling yen. We talked about the euro sterling chart. Dollar CAD, very much like the Aussie, just kind of scratching its way north. So commodity currencies are getting sold this week. But really hard to sink your teeth into this. 132.68 has been sort of the post unemployment highs. So we had a weak unemployment here took us up to 34, back down to 18, up to 68. Um, there might be a little bit of risk, continued risk on the top side above 68. Got some clear air all the way to 133.50. Uh, 
uh, with vol where it is and we're not expecting any kind of big move but just something for you to be aware of in general not a whole lot going on um, we're not super excited about the structure of the day or the volatility uh, we've had what an eight point range overnight in euro oh no sorry 16 whole points in euro uh, 16 point range in euro so patience more than anything try and scratch and claw a little bit of cash if you can but probably more importantly patience is the trade today the professional trade is patience um, can't pull blood from a stone so continued patience is the way good luck out there people we will talk to you tomorrow ciao